This is the Formu Petal, the world's first commercial PET filament extruder that turns your plastic bottles into 1.75mm 3D printed filament. It's this easy to turn your plastic bottles into filament. Simply use the included cutter to turn your plastic bottles into strips. Then, with a little bit of magic, spool it up. Feed the plastic strip into the extruder and close the window. Turn it on and be part of the future of 3D printing. At the start of development, multiple tests were done. This included multiple nozzle diameters, different temperature settings, different strip sizes, and different hot ends. Alongside the physical prototyping, various form designs were made in CAD, which evolved in every iteration as new limitations were found. Once the final form was discovered, a cardboard prototype was made. This product will have a sleek, folded aluminium body with a powder-coated finish. The first iteration used an Arduino and a breadboard to run the device. This was simple, but it did the job. The next iteration used a custom PCB instead of the breadboard to neaten up the project. This worked well, however, it still needed an Arduino. The board had a few issues with it. There was a track causing a short and no connectors for the micro stepping pins to the Arduino. The next iteration will have a custom PCB with a built-in microcontroller, so it's all one off one board. All the components will be through hole components for easy repair. The main works like prototype is made from 3D printed and laser cut parts. This was a potential method of manufacture until the time to assemble came. The 3D printed parts had warped making the screw holes not line up. The possibility of this happening in a production model wasn't worth the risk, so the direction of the design changed. As previously mentioned, the final product will be folded aluminium. This is for ease of production, the general aesthetic and cost. For 200 units, the aluminium bodies would cost £32.82 each and can get folded and powder coated by the same company. To ensure the aluminium body is safe, it will be properly ground and the hot end will have a ceramic thermal buffer to keep the frame cool to the touch. When compared to the 3D printed and laser cut version, this saves a lot of machining time allowing more efficient production. The product will have various colour choices. The body will have the option of white or black powder coat and the spools will come in one of seven colours red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple and pink. The product was shown to a 3D printing technician in hopes for feedback, insights and potential friction points. This is what he said. Tweaking the settings I can foresee being, because I've been doing bits like that a lot recently, yeah. um, so depending on the bottle, slightly different plastics, Yeah. and maybe even, I don't know how far you tested it, but what's been in the bottle, sure. whether that would affect whether you'd have to clean it, because yeah. if you had um, something sticky like Coke, you know how yeah. aggressive that can be, you drop a penny in it and it cleans yeah. it. If it's got all that residue on it, Good how will that then burn through the nozzle? Could you see something like this working in sort of the job role you're in now? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, definitely. We, I was literally just having a conversation with my boss there because I, I've obviously, I've been trying to tweak my printers and there's a lot of waste plastic. I get through so much plastic. Loads of that, that whole pot up there, that huge pot with a 90 hour print is a fail. Oh, I know the, I know the pain. <laughs> That's gonna have to go in bin, right? Yeah. And I know you're talking about bottles, but even so, if, even if it could be adapted or even just bottles, like, yeah. being able to produce Recycle the filament is such an amazing thing. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to be able to do that in there. Awesome. Great. A lot of great points were raised. It is clear there's more development to be done and more tests to do. What happens when you run a dirty Coke bottle through the nozzle? Does it burn or affect the filament? What happens when you run a dirty cider bottle through the nozzle? Is there a chance of combustion? On top of that, some great recommendations for future improvements were suggested, like adding a way to keep the filament dry and an indicator to know when the device is heated up. Join us on this exciting journey and keep up to date every step of the way. Formu.